If you've noticed synchronicities appearing in your life, those moments when everything aligns perfectly, when unexpected yet meaningful coincidences seem to show up just when you need them, you may be embarking on a journey to higher consciousness. The concept of synchronicity, first articulated by the pioneering psychologist Carl Jung, refers to those significant coincidences that connect external events with inner psychological states in a way that is meaningful but not causally linked. Jung saw these phenomena as hints of a deeper order within the universe, suggesting an invisible intelligence guiding our lives and linking our inner experiences to the outer world. Synchronicity can be understood as a nudge from the universe, inviting you to recognize the interconnectedness of all things, both seen and unseen. These moments can feel like guideposts, subtly suggesting that a greater consciousness, or what Jung called the self, is at work in your life. The journey to higher consciousness is marked by different stages, each bringing a new level of awareness and understanding. It will guide you through six levels of higher consciousness, moving from the feeling that life happens to you to the ultimate realization that life is, is you. In the first level of consciousness, life may feel like a series of events happening in through you, seemingly beyond your control. At this stage, you might experience life as unpredictable and often chaotic, leading to emotions like fear, frustration, and helplessness. You might find yourself reacting defensively, wondering why certain things happen, often leading to a victim mentality. In this state, you're subject to life's circumstances, seeing yourself as powerless, and perhaps even questioning the fairness of life itself. When synchronicities appear in this phase, they may feel like mere coincidences, random and unrelated events with no deeper significance. Jung believed, however, that even these early synchronicities act as subtle invitations to expand your perspective. They suggest that there may be more to life than meets the eye, hinting at an underlying order and purpose. Although this stage can feel limiting and frustrating, it serves as a vital first step on the path to higher consciousness. It calls you to question whether life truly is random or if a greater intelligence might be at play. For Jung, these early synchronicities encourage you to step away from the victim role and consider a more active, curious stance. As you grow weary of feeling powerless, a shift may begin. You start to sense that you play a role in shaping your life. This realization marks the second stage, where you feel life happens by the you. You come to understand that your decisions, actions, and intentions can influence your reality, and you begin to take ownership of your path. This is the stage of the doer, where you actively set out to create your life, channeling your energy into making plans and pursuing goals. This phase brings a sense of empowerment and determination. You might adopt a mindset of hard work, focusing on achieving goals and bringing dreams to life. However, despite your best efforts, you may still find that certain outcomes remain out of reach. This is where synchronicities begin to play a more noticeable role. Jung suggested that synchronicities in this stage often serve as affirmations of your intentions or as sources of unexpected help. These events remind you that while your intentions are powerful, life also operates on a level that is beyond personal control. As you navigate this stage, synchronicities can become moments of encouragement, signaling that you are on the right path. Yet they also hint that something larger may be working with you, inviting you to consider that life responds to more than just willpower. Jung saw this phase as an important point of development in the process of individuation, the journey toward wholeness and self-discovery. These synchronicities reveal that while you have agency, there are forces beyond your conscious mind at work. In the third stage, you begin to recognize that life isn't merely something to control, but something that happens in you. This stage invites you to turn inward, reflecting on how your beliefs, emotions, and perceptions shape your reality. Jung emphasized the importance of understanding the unconscious mind, which often influences our experiences in ways we may not realize. You come to understand that the world you see is filtered through your mind, shaped by the stories and beliefs you hold. At this stage, you may ask yourself questions like, what beliefs am I holding on to? Or, how are my thoughts creating my experience? You begin to see that much of your suffering or joy arises not from external events, but from how you interpret them. When synchronicities occur, they feel like mirrors of your inner growth. 
Jung believed these synchronicities reflect unconscious patterns, offering insights into parts of yourself that may be influencing your reality. As you work through this phase, synchronicities appear as validations of the shifts occurring within you. You might notice serendipitous events that align with inner transformations, serving as gentle reminders of your own progress. For Jung, synchronicities at this stage offer glimpses of the unconscious, hinting at a complex connection between mind and matter. They invite you to take responsibility for your internal world, teaching you that much of life's meaning is created through your own consciousness. With this newfound awareness, you progress into the fourth stage, where you begin to see that life doesn't just reflect your inner state, but is actively working it for you. Here, you recognize that every experience, even those that challenge you, serves a purpose. Obstacles transform from random misfortunes to meaningful lessons designed to guide you toward greater self-awareness and growth. Jung saw this as an essential part of the individuation process, the journey toward becoming your true self. In this phase, synchronicities take on even greater significance. Rather than appearing as mere coincidences, they feel like orchestrated events aligned with your personal evolution. You might find yourself asking questions like, what is this experience here to teach me? Or, how is this situation helping me evolve? Jung believed that synchronicities at this stage are not just signs, but messages, hinting that life itself is guiding you. He saw them as symbols of the unconscious mind's collaboration with the conscious mind, working to reveal deeper insights. Entering the fifth stage, you experience a profound shift. You realize that life happens that through you. Jung described this as surrendering to the self, the archetypal aspect of the psyche that transcends the individual ego. In this state, you become a channel for life's creative flow, allowing personal will to align with a greater intelligence. You understand that rather than trying to control every aspect of life, your role is to align with a purpose larger than yourself. When synchronicities occur at the stage, they feel like markers of deep alignment between your conscious and unconscious mind. People, resources, and opportunities appear effortlessly, as though the universe is in direct dialogue with you. Jung described these experiences as a harmonious union of the conscious and unconscious, showing that you are moving with the natural flow of life. Synchronicities no longer feel random. They seem to confirm that you are part of a larger interconnected pattern. This level of consciousness invites you to see yourself as a co-creator with the universe, an expression of its wisdom and energy. Finally, the sixth and highest level of consciousness brings a profound realization. Life doesn't happen outside, to, or even through you. Life is you. Here, the illusion of separation dissolves, and you experience yourself as an inseparable part of the universe. This is the stage of oneness, where you feel deeply connected to all existence. Jung described this as the ultimate expression of individuation, where conscious and unconscious merge into a unified whole. In this state, synchronicities no longer appear as isolated signs or messages. Instead, they become part of the natural rhythm of existence. Every moment, every experience, and every interaction is infused with purpose and meaning, as you see yourself as an inseparable part of life's totality. Jung saw this stage as the culmination of the individuation process, where the boundaries between self and other dissolve leaving a sense of wholeness and interconnectedness. As you journey through these stages, notice the synchronicities that light your path. They are signals that you're moving from fear and control toward unity and trust, and that you are never alone on this journey. Jung saw these meaningful coincidences as markers of a guiding force within the universe, helping you align with a deeper, truer sense of self. Embrace each stage knowing it brings you closer to the ultimate truth of who you are. A dynamic, evolving expression of universal consciousness, interconnected with all life. By embracing synchronicities, you honor the mystery of life and your place within it. They remind you that each moment is an opportunity to deepen your connection to the universe and to move closer to a state of inner harmony and peace. Wherever you find yourself on this path, take comfort in knowing that synchronicity is a signpost, a nudge from the universe, inviting you to step fully into the flow of life 
and trust in its inherent wisdom. Thank you for watching Metanoia Pathways. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. As always, I wish you a wonderful day.